so for this uh, uh, just uh, let me recall what we have f is equicontinuous and for each given a we have that this set of points in y given by the evaluating the functions in our uh, given equicontinuous set f at that point a you get a subset of uh, y and this has compact closure this is part of the assumption and then uh, the uh, statement is that the closure of f in cxy is compact in the topology of compact convergence so there are uh, many closures in different topologies taken so first one is that this uh, closure of f of a is taken in in the topology of y uh, as a y is a metric space so there is a topology there and we take the uh, uh, closure and we assume that it is compact on the other hand the second closure is in in the topology of compact convergence so uh, we take the closure of f in the to in the topology of compact convergence and the uh, statement is that this set is now compact so uh, let's see a proof of this theorem so for the proof we have uh, two steps basically so step one is to show that uh, the um, closure of f uh, in the topology of pointwise convergence in the topology of pointwise convergence in cxy um, is compact so this is compact in the topology of comp uh, pointwise convergence so uh, let me denote denote f closure pc uh, as this closure so this is the closure in the topology of pointwise convergence and now the second step step 2 is to show that um, and the second step step 2 is to show that the this closure f closure pc is in fact equicontinuous we have already assumed that f is equicontinuous but we will prove that the closure of f in the topology of pointwise convergence is also equicontinuous so how do these two steps um, prove our theorem so since uh, f closure pc is compact in the topology of pointwise convergence of um, pointwise convergence and this set is equicontinuous is equicontinuous so this means that uh, this means that f closure with the pointwise convergence is the same as the f closure in the topology of uh, closure in the topology of compact convergence because on equicontinuous sets the topology of pointwise convergence and the topology of compact convergence are the same from the previous theorem so this is uh, the right hand side here is the closure of f in the topology in the topology of compact convergence convergence in cxy and uh, this is because since by theorem uh, 2.1 uh, the topology of pointwise convergence and the topology of compact convergence are the same on f closure pc because this is equicontinuous as it is equicontinuous okay so from step 2 we see that is it is equicontinuous and from step 1 we see that it is compact in the topology of pointwise convergence but by equicontinuity pointwise convergence and topology of compact convergence coincide so the um, closures are the same 
and therefore if it is compact in one of the topologies it is also compact in the topology of compact convergence okay so uh, we have to show both these steps step one and step two so to show step one the closure of f in the topology of uh, pointwise convergence is compact we will use Tikhonov's theorem so let's prove this so proof of step one so uh, so we have to show that f closure pc is compact in uh, the topology in the topology of pointwise convergence in cxy so for this let um, ca be the closure of these sets fa which uh, if you remember is just the uh, evaluations of all the all the functions at a given point a in x so this is the closure of x so for a in x so uh, we have assumed by hypothesis by hypothesis c a is compact in y now uh, form the product space product space uh, the arbitrary cartesian product of these cas uh, when you uh, vary a over x so here our index function function is uh, j is just x and our x um, alphas are these CAs. So this is the set of all functions, set of all functions uh, f from x to the union, or rather, let's say y, such that uh, f of a belongs to CA. And so, in fact, uh, f is in fact a map from x to the union of all these sets and but this is a subset of y so you can take consider f as a function from x to y as well okay so um this set e, now each of these uh, cas are compact and this is an arbitrary product of compact spaces so in the topology of pointwise convergence which is the same as the product topology by Tikhonov's theorem this is a compact set so by Tikhonov's theorem uh, this set this space uh, in in as a subset of as a subset of all functions from x to y is compact in the product topology product topology but the product topology and the topology of pointwise convergence are the same so this is the uh, uh, in the topology of pointwise convergence and now uh, our set f is a subset of this set of all functions um, from x to y such that f of a belongs to c a because c a was the closure of uh, c a was the closure of f of a and uh, therefore this implies that uh, the closure of this uh, set of functions f in the topology of pointwise convergence is also a subset of this bigger space and since the right hand side is compact being a closed subset sub, uh, set of a compact space this is compact so this implies that fpc is compact in the topology of uh, pointwise convergence so um, now we still have to show that f closure pc uh, is in fact uh, 
uh, a compact subset of CXY. So here, uh, this is compact as a subset subset of uh, Fn xy, the set of all functions from x to y. But our claim was that uh, this is compact in the uh, sub subspace of the continuous functions from x to y. So um, our claim uh, is also that, so uh, we have to show, we still have to show that f closure pc is a subset of cxy we have proved that this is compact uh, but now we will actually show that this uh, lies within the um, space of continuous functions from x to y and this will follow from the step two which is uh, to show that this is in fact an equicontinuous uh, set so as we know uh, each function in an equicontinuous set is automatically continuous so um, this means that it will be a subset of cxy so this will follow from step 2 which is to show that f closure pc is equicontinuous okay so um, why is this equicontinuous so let's try to prove step 2 proof of step 2 now so to show that this is equicontinuous um, we use the fact that f itself is equicontinuous so since f is equicontinuous uh, given um, x naught in x uh, there exists a neighborhood u of x naught says that we have that the distance between um, okay so uh, of course given some epsilon greater than zero and a point x naught there exists a neighborhood u of x naught says that d of f of x f of x naught is less than epsilon uh, let's say epsilon by three for all x in u x uh, rather u and for all f in our equicontinuous set f so this is by definition of equicontinuity and we will show that the same u will also work for all the functions in the closure of f in the topology of pointwise convergence so uh, let g belong to the closure uh, of f in the topology of pointwise convergence and uh, let x belong to u then we will show that we will show that the distance between g of x and g of x naught is less than um, epsilon and uh, this will imply that uh, this closure is in fact equicontinuous and in particular uh, that uh, uh, this also implies that f closure pc belongs to the um, subset of continuous functions uh, from x to y okay so um, so how do we prove this that uh, d of gx gx naught is less than epsilon so for this uh, we use the fact that uh, g belongs to the closure of f in the topology of pointwise convergence and uh, therefore so consider the neighborhood uh, vx of g in the topology of pointwise convergence in the topology of pointwise convergence given by so vx is uh, the um, basis set bf 
g epsilon by 3 where f is now the finite set x and x naught so in fact i should uh, also add vx x naught here just to emphasize that it uh, depends both on the points x as well as x naught so this is a neighborhood of g in the topology of pointwise convergence and because uh, g belongs to the closure of f this means that there exists a function f belongs to f says that f is in bf g epsilon by 3 so this means that uh, the distance between fx and gx is less than, less than epsilon by 3 and the distance between fx naught and gx naught is less than epsilon by 3. So with these two and uh, the fact that we have chosen here um, uh, the neighborhood u such that d of fx fx naught is less than epsilon by 3 then again a triangle inequality shows so that uh, we have uh, the distance between gx and gx naught is less than or equal to distance between gx gx and fx plus the distance between fx and fx naught plus the distance between fx naught and gx naught and uh, all three one two and three these are all uh, uh, one two and three are less than epsilon by three so one and two from the neighborhood we chose so as uh, um, f belongs to b f g epsilon by 3 so this in, this means that 1 and 2 are less than epsilon by 3 this is what we showed before so this is the uh, thing we want here for f and uh, for for 3 uh, this was the choice uh, of our neighborhood u so by equicontinuity equicontinuity and the choice of uh, the neighborhood u of x naught and uh, here x belongs to u so this means that d of fx fx naught is less than epsilon by 3 so this means that uh, the sum is less than epsilon so d of gx gx naught is less than epsilon and this shows that the closure of this is equicontinuous and from step 1 we know that this is compact and lies in uh, uh, and of, co of course this equicontinuity also means that this lies um, this closure in the topology of pointwise convergence lies in cxy and by step 1 let me go back to step 1 so uh, we showed that uh, this is compact in the topology of pointwise convergence uh, and now we have already also shown that this is in cxy and so uh, because the topology of pointwise convergence and the topology of compact convergence agree we have also shown that this is compact in the topology of compact convergence and this is what we wanted in the uh, statement of the theorem okay so the statement of the theorem was to show that this is f is compact the closure of f is compact in the topology of compact convergence so um, with this um, circle of ideas we have one way one forward implication of the Arcel Ascoli theorem, and we will look at the con uh, the converse, uh, the reverse implication that if you have f to be compact in the topology of compact convergence, then it must be equicontinuous 
and uh, this kind of uh, set f of a this will have compact closure um, in y but for that we need some extra conditions on x and this is not true for general x and we will restrict to the class of so called locally compact Hausdorff spaces and we will discuss this in the next lecture.